Today, we are going to be checking out something that I have been waiting to unbox and review for a long, long time. And that is Second Sight's 4K Restored UHD Limited Edition release of George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. First off, I am so glad that they put the original artwork on this very sturdy hard box case. Slide it around, you can see the side there. The back breaks down which cut is on which disc and then all of those great new bonus features. Slide it around to this side once again, bring it back around to the front and the box splits right on the horizon line. So let's check out all of these goodies on the inside. The first digipack here houses all three cuts of the movie along with the fourth disc, which is the bonus features. The second digipack houses Goblin's original score along with a two disc CD set of the Dwarf Library tracks. Next up, we have got the 160 page hardcover book with a bunch of new essays and behind the scenes photos. And lastly in here, we have got the novelization that was co-authored by George Romero back in the 70s, I believe. And let me slide this cardboard backer off for you and reassemble this case so you can see it without that on the bottom and the back. There it goes, the front again, and the side, and the back. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. And now, let's slide open those digipacks. So, we're gonna start with the movies, of course. First disc is the one that houses the theatrical cut. Disc two houses the extended con cut. Disc three houses the Argento cut, and disc four is all those great bonus features. Now, of course, talking about those quickly, the 4K restoration of this movie is impeccable. You know, it's taken from the original camera negative, extensive color correction, beautiful, beautiful fine grain. You know, there is not a single, like, you can't even spot a hair or any print damage in this movie, at least I couldn't, and I have never seen Dawn look so crisp. And, of course, it was a lower budget movie. Don't expect it to look like a movie shot on, you know, 35 millimeter or 8K nowadays. But for Dawn of the Dead, you've never seen it look like this. Especially, I've noticed the color pops. For one thing, that kind of pink hue that is in a lot of scenes, that is gone. And a lot of the scenes in the mall have that, how do I describe it? What's that called? Like that almost fluorescent steel blue coming from the lights. It doesn't, it doesn't shade everything in like a blue light, but you can tell it has that artificial mall feel to it that was really big in the 70s and 80s. So that's great. Now, moving over to the extended cut. This one is mostly assembled of the 4K restoration of the theatrical cut with a couple scenes, all the extended scenes, taken from, I think the duplicate color interpositive is what it was called. But even the most eagle-eyed fan, you're not going to really be able to tell the difference of when those splices are occurring because, the, like I said, the restoration work is beautiful. Now, when we get over to the Argento cut, the color scheme on this one does look slightly dim, uh, not dim, but let's say warmer. It's a, it's a little bit different. And um, the print is, I want to say, slightly softer in this one. So the grain isn't as obvious in, you know, the 4K uh, restoration of theatrical cut, but it's still there. You can still see the grain. It's still the best the Argento cut is ever going to probably look at this point. So these are all getting an amazing A++++ rating from me. Now, when we slide over to the bonus features, there is some really interesting stuff in here. Obviously, it didn't bring over everything from the past releases, but, you know, they've got, there, there are tons of new interviews in here. Sadly, none with Romero. We do have a lost interview from years ago, but we've got stuff with Savani. We've got stuff with Christine Romero. We've got stuff with even the, you know, the bikers and zombie extras throughout the movie, which actually I think was my favorite bonus feature. There is an hour long collective documentary interview with all the biker and zombie extras, and they tell some amazing stories that uh, me as, you know, a Dawn fan since I was 13 years old, I think, I've never even heard anybody touch on. So that is one of the great new things in this set. All those interesting stories you would never hear from the main collective of Dawn people. And then of course, there's one other thing I really liked. It was the, uh, what was it, 16 millimeter footage that was shot by uh, two brothers, I believe it was, who were working on the movie as zombies. And that runs with commentary. You have the choice to watch it with 
one brother's commentary or the other brother's commentary or just watch it silently. So there's some really cool stuff on here. Like I said, tons of new interviews, theatrical trailers from around the globe, teasers. So a whole bunch of great stuff. Of course, new commentaries and old commentaries. So this, this release is stacked. Now, moving on to, actually, oh, I gotta show you the back of this too. Let me flip this around. Beautiful spread artwork of the mall shopping lot with the helicopter flying ahead. And of course, you know, you gotta add the 30 in there. That's a great touch for the art. And that's what I love that they do. Include the original artwork for the case and put the new great artwork on the inside with all the supplemental features and that great stuff. So flipping open the second digipack, we have got Goblin soundtrack, and then we've got a two disc set for the DeWolf library tracks that are heard throughout the movie. And I'll flip that over again so you can see that. Once again, same artwork, just a little condensed. Close this up. Now, onto the hardback book of essays that is 160 pages long, and I believe has something like 16, 17 essays in it. So there is a lot of reading in here for one thing, just to show you here. A lot of pictures, a lot of reading. Let me just flip to some of these pictures for a second, give you an idea of what kind are in here. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but yeah, I'll just show you a couple here and there. A lot of posters. Ooh, Dawn of the Dead board game. I forgot about that. Never played it myself. Behind the scenes photos, and that's that's a actually these are really good ones. I haven't seen these before. So yeah, a lot of behind the scenes photos that were taken on set. I'm assuming by probably the extras. And yeah, a bunch more essays in the back. And once again, I'll just flip this open here because this artwork is great. You know, I really love the artwork they did for all these supplemental materials in here. Yeah, there you go. And then last, we have got the Dawn of the Dead novelization that I believe is something like 240 pages long. Once again, new artwork. And that's something I, I keep saying. This is great artwork. There's no other way to describe this than beautifully uh, beautiful and very well done. So there you go. Just the novelization. There's no pictures or anything in there. But damn, it's great that they included this. Included this. I don't even know how long it's been out of print. But how long is this? There you go. 226 pages long. There you go. So I am going to get this all packed up. And if you have, if you have not ordered this release yet, I gotta say, this is probably the best horror-related boutique release in the last decade of probably one of the most sought-after horror films that we want on Blu-ray. God, I can't even think of another one that we've wanted on Blu-ray more than Dawn of the Dead, especially with all the rights issues. But, you know, I gotta say, this is probably, it's not sold out yet, but I am going to assume this is probably going to be sold out by the end of the year. So if you have not gotten a copy of this yet, get a copy. Get your hands on this any way possible. Um, right now, like I said, this is the 4K release. They have also released this in a, a standard edition set because this one obviously didn't come with any of the standard Blu-rays. just comes with the 4K Blu-rays. But, um, oh, the bonus features on this set, they are um, on a standard Blu-ray set, which is region B locked. want to let you know that. But if you get this set... And you're worried about importing it, don't worry, because 4K discs, you know, they are not region locked. But if you get the standard Blu-ray set, which is a little bit cheaper, those are probably going to be region B locked, but you know, I don't have it in my possession, so I can't confirm that. I'm going to make that assumption based on the bonus feature disc that is included in this release. So, that is going to wrap up today's quick unboxing and overview of my favorite <laughs> Blu-ray release in probably the last decade. George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, the 4K UHD release from Second Sight. I want to extend them my you know, sincerest gratitude for sending me this copy to unbox and review for you guys. If you have any questions about this release or any of the bonus features, you know, ask them in the comments below. I'll do my best to try and answer, uh, answer them for you. Uh, if you haven't already, remember to leave me a like and set up your notifications when you want to see new videos like this pop up. And everybody, I hope you have a good day.